In this video, we'll show you how to integrate with Active Directory. To navigate to those settings, select the organization, the settings tab, and the authentication button. There are two methods to authenticate with a domain controller, the use server method and the machine method. The use server method only works if your domain controller is on the same network as your sync server. If using this method, simply put the IP address or publicly resolvable host name in the host field. I'll be showing you how to use the machine method. The first step is to download and register a sync agent onto your domain controller. Register that agent with any user from within that organization. From the machine dropdown, select your domain controller. In the host field, enter in your domain controller's full computer name. This can be found in your computer properties. In the domain field, enter in your domain controller's domain name. In the login and password fields, enter in an Active Directory user that has administrative rights. To import users, select the Import Users radio and your authentication source. After a short while, your Active Directory tree will be displayed. Selecting an organizational unit will select all users for import, or you can select individual users. From there, you'll select the Import Selected Users button. Now those users have been imported into your accounts page. If the user has an email address in their Active Directory profile, they can use it to log into the web portal. For a user without an email address, to log into the web portal, they'll enter in the domain name backslash AD username and AD password. When registering the desktop app, an imported user will select the Use Domain Credentials button, enter in their domain name, their AD username, and their AD password. This concludes our video on Active Directory integration. Thank you for watching.